Hey YouTube, Jason here from the App Hub with another app review. So what does it take to be the number one app on the iTunes store? Well, I don't know, but you can ask the developers at Tap 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 because they seem to. Uh, the app that we'll be reviewing today is called The Heist. It currently sits at number one on the iTunes uh, store. Uh, you can purchase the app for 99 cents. And as mentioned, this app was developed by Tap Tap Tap, uh, which are also the makers of another great app on the iTunes store, Camera Plus, uh, which I believe was number one at one point as well. So the heist puts you in the role of a top secret spy uh, with, the object with the objective of breaking into a vault to find its secrets within. From the first moment that you load up the app on your phone, you'll actually receive a phone call from Sophia, which is your handler. Uh, when I first got this call, I thought someone on my phone list was actually calling me, but when I realized that uh, it was actually the game itself that was giving me the call, uh, I was actually really pretty blown away. I mean, this is the first time I've seen it on a, done on an app like this, and it's a really great way to uh, immerse the player into the whole gaming experience. But firstly, the heist is a great looking game on the iPhone 4 screen. Uh, when you load the app up, you'll be presented with the vault that you have to break into. And if you go ahead and try to tap on certain areas of the vault, you'll see that it glows red and you'll see uh, bits of electricity spark as security measures are still um, active. Um, right below the vault, you'll see four different menus and these represent the different puzzles that you'll have to solve. And right below, you'll see uh, the settings menu. So in addition to the presentation of the menu, uh, the graphics of each game are uh, quite amazing as well. Uh, each puzzle looks different from one another and uh, it's also accompanied by a great soundtrack. So how do we break into the vault? Um, as mentioned earlier, in order to do this, we have to solve a set of puzzles uh, to deactivate a certain security feature of the vault. So let's go ahead and tap the icon in the bottom left corner to show us the first set of puzzles. And if you go here, you'll see all the puzzles that are currently available. And if you scroll to the right, you'll also see all the puzzles that are currently locked. Um, so we'll just go ahead and tap into the first puzzle. Um, so in this set of games, the objective is to get the bulb into the socket on the far right. And you do this by tapping on the individual wooden pegs to, to move them out of the way. Uh, so if we go ahead and just do it like so, and then we, what we do is we uh, slide our finger on the bulb and slide it into the socket, and then there you go, the pu first puzzle is solved. Uh, the first couple levels are meant to be more of an introduction, um, so they do ramp up in difficulty as you get to the higher levels. So if we go ahead and exit out of this and go and back to the main menu, and we'll just go ahead and click on the second game, and we'll click on the first puzzle to load that up. Um, so the second game can al almost be thought of as a modification to Sudoku. Um, so the objective is to fill the entire board with the pieces that you have. Um, however, you can't have more than one of the same shape uh, in a line going both horizontally and vertically. You'll also notice that the uh, different sections are color coded. So the corresponding piece that you put into the, into the section has to be the same color. So for example, we'll just take this blue piece and move it into the blue section and this green piece into the green section. And you'll notice that if you try to move a piece into the section that doesn't fit, you'll, the screen will actually flash. So for example, we'll take this yellow piece and move it to the orange section. And you notice that the shapes inside the orange section actually flash, telling you that that's not the right piece. And we'll just put in the yellow section and then put it into the orange and then right into the red section. And there you go, the puzzle is solved for that one. And it'll take us back to the main screen. And we'll go into the third set of games. Um, so in the third set of puzzles, the objective here is to move the boxes onto the sockets. And you do this by uh, sliding your finger on top of the little robot and making him push the box onto the socket. And again, these are the first couple of levels, so they are a little bit easier than um, the uh, later levels. And we'll just go ahead and tap the robot and we'll push the box down. And then we'll just move him back up. And then there you go, position him behind the box and slide our finger down and he'll push the box into place and there you go we solved the fourth uh, sorry the third uh, puzzles uh, so we'll just go back to the main menu and then go to the last set of games and load the first puzzle so here the objective is to connect the wires of the same color and you do this by placing your finger on the tiles and sliding them um, into the corresponding slots like so so in each set of games there are 15 different puzzles uh, that you have to solve and they do get increasingly more difficult as you get higher up. So overall, the heist is a really fun and challenging game. Um, the variety in the puzzles as well as the overall presentation really come together to add a great uh, package for this iOS game. 
As always, if you guys have questions, please comment below and I'll do my best to answer them. If you guys want to see a specific app be reviewed on my channel, please email me at theapphub at gmail.com and I'll do my best to get out a review. As always, if you guys like what you see, please comment below, rate my video, and subscribe to my channel. We'll see you guys again. Peace.